Let's see how you can find the square of a number using Vedic mathematics. And let's first use the base 10 method. What does this mean? The base is going to be 10 in these cases. So let's say you have to find the square of, let's take one number less than 10. So let's say you have to find the square of 8. Okay. So what do you do? Split this into two parts. Okay. Now, 10 minus 8 is what? 2. Right? So you take minus 2 here. Okay. And you take 8 here. Just like you did it for multiplication earlier. Right? So since here the operation that you are doing is a square operation. So what do you do? You will first find the square of this digit. So 2 square will give you 4. Right? Now, earlier what you were doing was that you were taking one of these numbers and adding it to the surplus or the deficit of the other. Here also you do the same. So you do 8 plus 2 which will give you 6. Right? So the square of 8 is equal to 64. Let's try to find out the square of 9. Taking base as 10. Now 9 minus 10 will give you minus 1. Okay. So you do the square of minus 1. This will give you 1. Okay. Now do the sum of these two. What will you get? You will get 9 minus 1 will give you 8. So square of 9 is equal to 81. Okay. Similarly, let's try out one more number. Let's say you have to find it out for 11 with base as 10. So 11 minus 10 gives you 1. Right? So 1 square is equal to 1. So you just put down 1 over here. Now 11 plus 1 will give you 12. Okay. Now, I mean, you can either straight away put this 12 as 1, 2, 1. Or you can multiply this 12 by the base plus 1. So 120 plus 1 is equal to 121. Right? Similarly, in this case also, you could have done this as 6 into 10, 60 plus 4. So that's how you find out the square of a given number.